Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and we will continue the event at selection screen output and in the previous videos we have written the logic to make this currency thing inactive. First in the first video we have written the logic based upon the name then in the next video, we have written the logic based upon the modif ID. And writing the logic based upon modif ID is preferable because in this case, you need to write so many if conditions. But if you will go for modif ID concept, that modif ID will assign to each and every part of that layout element. Suppose just example, we have a select option, then we have low value also, we have high value also, we have multiple selection button also, we have two word also, we have text also. So if you will go for modif ID concept, it will assign to each and every part. Anyways, it's your wish. You want to write the logic based upon individual name or you can go for modif ID. Once you go for modif ID, it will assign to group one column of the screen and we can write the logic for the same. Now, now this logic we have written if checkbox is equal to false. Now, if user select the checkbox, we need to make these things visible. We need to make these things active. So what I will do? I will simply, simply copy this logic. I will paste because we need to handle other part also. If that checkbox is selected, it means the value of that checkbox will be capital X now. Do not put in small, otherwise your if condition will be false. SAP editor is never, never case sensitive. But strings values are always, always case sensitive. Now, if that checkbox is selected and we have this particular modif ID, means group one is equal to that modif ID which we give. Now, we will make active is equal to one. If user is selecting that checkbox, yes, we need to make those things as visible and we are modifying the screen. We will just check the syntax and we will activate. So we handled both the part. If checkbox is not selected, yes, anyways, whenever our selection screen will appear for the first time, this checkbox will not be selected yes so it will make those currencies things as invisible we will make those current currency things as inactive because we will put we put active is equal to zero whenever we will select the checkbox yes we make those things active so those three things will be visible again now i will run suppose if i will show you as of now you can see all those three things are inactive, are not visible. Now I'm selecting that checkbox. Now people will ask, okay, you selected the checkboxes, but those things are not visible now. Yes, but my question is, we selected that checkbox. Have we performed any action? So how system understand that we selected this particular checkbox? Suppose. As of now, I'm performing the action enter suppose. Have you seen these all these three things are visible now? But now people will ask, yes. Suppose if customer is asking, no, I'm not comfortable with enter. We will not go for enter. Whenever I will select this checkbox, suppose I'm deselecting the checkbox. I'm pressing enter. Again, those things are invisible. I'm selecting and pressing enter again visible. Now customer is saying no, enter is not comfortable for me. Whenever I will select, yes, those things should be visible. Whenever I will deselect, whenever I will select, 
those things should be visible whenever i will deselect those things should be invisible enter is not compulsory now how to handle that part anyways in the future whenever interactive classical reports will be there alv will be there module pool will be there that will play a vital role but here we will go for complete still complete understanding suppose simple suppose if i will go to sc11 transaction code just an example have you seen this screen has so many functionalities i am clicking on to syntax check activate delete copy take any action it's your wish i am clicking on to display button change button create button just see if we have so many functionalities here but how system understand suppose suppose i am clicking on to change button how system understand that you are clicking on to change button i am clicking on to display button how system understand that we are clicking on to display button i am going for syntax check how system understand that we are clicking on to syntax check button because every button every button or every function has a function code function code extremely extremely important concept and in the future this topic will play a vital role function code without function code how system understand that you are going for this action suppose simple this button has a function code suppose check this function code this function this button has a function code activate this function this button has a function code delete this button has a function code copy because of that function code only system understand that we are going for this particular action and yes we are going for giving the function code so in this particular screen sap gave the function codes to each and every button unique function code unique function code and based upon that only yes the system understand that we are going for that particular function now here also we are clicking on to this button we are selecting the check box okay we pressed enter we pressed enter yes at that time yes system understand that we are going for enter function enter function at that time yes we have a function code but if user is saying no we will not go for enter yes whenever i will select yes it should it should make these three things as in whenever i will select i want to make these three things as visible whenever i will deselect i want to make these three things as invisible it means we will give the function code we will give the function code once you press enter yes at that time enter has a function code system understand that you are going for enter but if i will not go for enter then we need to give the function code so how to give the function code and remember it's a golden rule every function has a function code without that there is no significance because system will not understand suppose i clicked on to execute button so how system understand that i clicked on to execute button because of function code of this execute button now we will give function code to this button so how to give the function code we have a dedicated syntax user command the keyword is user command and you can give function code it's your wish whatever the function code you want to give suppose i want to give select you can give any function so we told sap that this particular check box has this function code so whenever we will select that check box 
system understand that we are selecting the checkbox because we gave the function code now. Now just see the functionality. First time, invisible. Now I will go for selecting this checkbox, visible. Now it is working perfectly fine, okay? Now, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we have added the logic that whenever checkbox is selected, we are making the things as visible. We are activating the things. We have written the logic for the same. After that, what we did, everything is perfectly fine, but we need to press enter. We need to perform some action. Because first time, all the three things of the currency are invisible. Now we are selecting the checkbox, but some action needs to be there so that system can understand. We pressed enter, things are becoming visible. We deselected the checkbox. We pressed enter, things are again invisible. But yes, because on enter button, some function code is there. So system understand at that point of time. But now customer is saying, no, I will not press enter at all. It means whenever you are selecting or deselecting the checkbox, system should understand that the checkbox is selected or deselected. We all know and we studied now most important concept that Every function has a function code. If I click on to execute button, I am pressing enter, syntax, activate, display. Every function has a function code. So we gave the function code to our checkbox. How we gave the function code? Using user command, this keyword. And we gave the function code. With the help of function code now, what is happening? Whenever you are selecting or deselecting system, understand that, yes, you are going for this particular action. Now, next video is very important because we did, we understood that we did the full practical. But now we will simply understand each and every flow in the debugging mode how how this everything is working perfectly fine so that's it in this video thank you